your kids. Contrary, doing it different, different, different. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Who go to Puma go be go to a Voga, uh, Voga, uh, Voga, Spile go so long. They say the earliest bird catches the largest worm. If you don't wake up early in the morning, you miss out, said Mr. Rapule. In the streets of Thunder Bay Park, which is mostly a student-occupied area, you find many people who wake up very early in the morning, heading to where they are employed. But we also find people who wake up early in the morning without employment, who still find reasons to wake up and do something innovative to survive. They know it's hustle every day. Mama unemployed, daddy ran away. School is not an option. Drugs been sold, kids been killed. Gang signs up in the air like it's counted. Got the same amount of problems as money. I'm counting his heart aches more. Every time I make them shouting, every time I make them shouting, his heart breaks more every time his stomach growling. Cause the nigga know that he gotta get to us. Gotta get that back for his siblings and his cousins. Some wake up to be street vendors and some recycle waste for cash whilst others stand on traffic lights to beg for money. Because this is an area for students, they are somehow careless of the environment and end up polluting with bottles all over. But we have people like Mr. Rapule who recycles those bottles to earn a living. He wakes up as early as 5 a.m. because if he oversleeps and comes around 8 a.m., there are no bottles left. Others who may have woken up earlier have passed there already. The slogan around here is Vuga, which means wake up. Because you might find the largest worm taken by someone else. So <laughs> Good level four. So you know, my bottle and can feel like a palma bottle or eighteen feel like an angle. Go on, and I was all. And I guess I can't. Oh, you know, I feel like I can't get a mind. I see. 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 I Okay, <laughs> 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 
What is happening around Riverbend and the work, the work around Riverbend, how people work around Riverbend. You know. So, what I've realized is that there are so many people here in Riverbend who are independent. We don't usually have much businesses around here. Like, as you can go around, there is Pick and Pay, there is Pick and Pay uh, Hyper, Pick and Pay Hyper, and President Hyper. And they only employ people of which they are qualified to work there like with metrics, certificates and everything. So we don't actually have those companies which um, empower people without metrics to work in. So I found these people, like I observed these people for a very long time who goes up and down looking for, looking for bottles, recycling. What I've realized is that they are also doing what we can do, what we cannot do because this area is suburb area. I think it's an area where we have many students, and as we know, students drink a lot. They throw bottles everywhere. They throw plastic everywhere. Students are reckless. But because of these people, what I've realized is that this place is always clean. I'm really pleased and I'm really motivated by these people because what I've seen is that in their condition, the condition that they live in, is the condition that I myself, I don't think I can survive in. I can survive the breath and I can survive the smoke and I and I can survive the terror maybe like at night because these people they sleep in the woods. These are the woods. They sleep in the woods. 
Uh, it's very dangerous where they're sleeping. It's very dangerous. I don't think any random person who do, who, who do have the choice in their life will actually go there because these people don't have a choice. Sometimes life may be brutal, but never let it kill you. Be strong, cause you will never let them.